Hi, and welcome to the Timer Pit. Today, I'm going to show you how to run overdue notices in Follett Destiny. This video will be particularly helpful if you are a school librarian, especially with the spring break time coming up and end of year time coming up and needing to get those reports ran and set out as notices for your students. So stay tuned. All right, so once you are logged in to your Follett Destiny, you're gonna come up here to the tab that says reports. From here, you're going to come over to Patron Reports and click. And then here you have all kinds of options. You have checked in materials, current checkouts and finds, find history and overdue materials. I wanna know everything that is currently checked out, so I'm going to choose current checkouts and finds. Once you've selected current checkouts and finds, you have a lot of choices. You could do all checked out materials, all that are currently overdue, all that are due by day to however many days that were due from, and all that are checked out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click all that are checked out. And what you really wanna do to make sure these come through as a notice is you need to click down here on the notices tab. If you don't do this, it will run as just a report and that's more for you to know and not really something for you to send home. So as soon as you're done making those selections, you're gonna click on continue. All right, here's where you can set your limits. So I want to know all of it. I wanna know all the resources and everything that's checked out and I want all my patrons. So everybody that is active within my school right now. That will include your staff and your students. All right, even more choices for you. So as soon as you've clicked continue, now you're gonna get all of this. I normally don't mess with any of this up here because I want everybody I do, for the sake of saving paper, I usually set mine to four notices and it makes like a nice little square. And then down here, I normally always click the title, a cover image, and the price, um, and the barcode number, and the homeroom. This is gonna come in handy when you go to sort them because you may know most of your students, but you may kind of forget whose homeroom they're in. And so clicking homeroom has always been very helpful for me as I'm cutting and sorting through all of these notices. So as soon as you have all of this set up the way that you like, you're gonna click Run Notices. And then it's gonna come up to your job manager. You're gonna see that mine is still in progress. So we're gonna give it just a couple seconds and wait for it to show up completely. So once you've opened up your reports, I ran my notices as four to a page. You're only gonna see two here just because of the size of the screen. But you are going to see why I clicked um, Show the Title um, and the amount and the cover of the book. So I do have blurred out the names of our students, but you have the names here and here, as well as the homeroom and the student's barcode. Now, the reason that I like to have all this information down in the bottom is having the cover of the book's picture on here helps parents and students as they're looking through their rooms and things, find the book that they're looking for. <clears throat> Excuse me. It also gives the title and the amount in case it has been completely lost. So all I do is print these off, cut them up, I sort them by homeroom right here, and then I deliver them to the teachers to send out to their students. So I hope this helps you run your library reports and that you have a great rest of the school year.